Good morning. This is the second module for lesson 7 protecting plants and animals. Let us quickly revise module 1 first. We have learned that animals are classified into four groups based on their eating habits. These are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and decomposers. The process of eating one organism and being eaten by another is known as food chain. Plants and animals are dependent on each other for survival and for the ecological balance. In this, the second module, we will be talking about environment and its components, how humans are impacting the environment and the steps being taken both nationally and internationally to protect and conserve our environment. Our natural surroundings make up our environment. This environment has two components that is biotic and abiotic. All living things that surround us make up the biotic component of the environment like the animals, plants, insects, etc. All non-living things that surround us make up the abiotic component of the environment like sun, air, water, etc. The natural environment of an organism that is the place that it lives in is called its habitat or in other words its home. Animals and plants adjust themselves to live in their habitats. This is known as adaptation like a polar bear who lives in very cold regions of the Arctic has adapted by having a thick fur and padded feet. Desert plants have adjusted to survival in a desert by growing long roots and having spines. With the increase in human population, the demand for resources is increasing, causing stress on natural habitat of many organisms. This uncontrolled human interference has led to problems like deforestation, pollution, soil erosion and loss of habitat, leading to species being endangered and some getting extinct. But we all know how important forests are for maintaining ecological balance. Forests serve as natural habitats to many plants and animals. It provides us with timber, medicine and most importantly, it replenishes oxygen in our environment. In order to conserve these forests, steps are being taken both nationally and internationally. Our government has set up national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. These are places where cutting of trees and poaching which is illegal killing of animals is banned. One such place is the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand, which was set up in 1961 to protect the tiger. Internationally, organizations like WWF, that is World Wide Fund for Nature, have been set up. They help create awareness about conserving biodiversity, sustainable use of natural resources, and reduction of pollution and wasteful consumptions. Our Earth, the blue planet, is the only planet where life exists. Let us all join hands and pledge to protect our Mother Earth. With this, we come to the end of Lesson 7, Protecting Plants and Animals. Thank you.